Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade or replace the solid state drive memory on a late 2013 MacBook Pro 13 inch retina display. If you're looking for more tech how to's, be sure to subscribe because we have more on the way. Before we get started, make sure your system is running High Sierra or higher. A lot of new solid state drives require updated drivers that aren't found on older operating systems. Also, make sure you back up your existing solid state drive just in case there's any problems. As for tools, you'll need a P5 Penelope screwdriver, a T5 Torx screwdriver, a spudger, your solid state drive, which I don't have one, and an anti-static wristband. People debate it back and forth, but it's always good practice to use one of these when working on computers. You don't want any of the inside components to accidentally get shocked. So now that you have all these tools, let's get started. Flip your laptop to its lowercase and you'll see 10 screws. Use a P5 Pentalobe screwdriver to remove them. To keep track of where the screws go later on, I usually tape them to the table where they line up with the case. That way I don't mix up the two different sized screws. Pull up the lowercase and put it to the side. Before you do any work, you always have to disconnect the battery. So gently lift up the plastic cover. Then use a flat headed tool like a spudger to lift up the battery connector, not the socket. And push it out of the way so it doesn't hit its socket. At the top right of the logic board, you'll see the solid state drive. Take a T5 Torx screwdriver and remove the one screw that holds it in place. Slightly lift up the end of the solid state drive and gently slide it out of its socket. Take your new one and slide it into place. Make sure it's in all the way, and then put the one screw back using the T5 Torx screwdriver. After that, push the battery connector back into its socket, and then put the plastic cover back on. Take the lower case and place it back on top. Then put back all 10 screws. Remember the two top screws are slightly smaller. And you're done. Hopefully your upgrade or replacement was successful and your laptop's running A-OK. -okay. If our how-to helped, give us a like. And if you're looking for more tech how-tos, be sure to subscribe because we have more content on the way. Thanks for watching.